today I'm gonna to make this. Beef with beans. Chili con carne, not ground beef, we're using nice chunky beef there. Bit of a stewing type one I've got there, so we're gonna do a bit of a pressure cooker method on it. But yeah, just absolutely delicious. Welcome back to How To Cook Great. Okay, so we're gonna get started with our beef. Now I've got here about 400, 500 grams, or about a pound of stewing beef. Like I say, this is not a beautiful sirloin or fillet steak here. This is a stewer. So we're gonna get cooking with that first and get it nice and tender before we move on with the other ingredients. Now I'm gonna be using my pressure cooker here to speed up time. If you've got a pressure cooker, fantastic. If you don't, then this is gonna take you quite a long time. You're going to, this process is gonna take you maybe about 45 minutes. So, here we go. Little bit of olive oil in there. In goes our, our beef. To that I'm gonna add a nice big pinch of black pepper and the same with salt. And for five or six minutes, I'm gonna just throw that around in the pan, just get a little bit of color on it with the lid off. Okay, so we just got a bit of color on there. I'm now gonna add one pint of water. If you wanted, you could be adding a stock, like a beef stock or a chicken stock to this, but water will do the trick. So, lid's gonna go on and I'm gonna pressure this for about 15 or 20 minutes. Like I say, if you don't have a pressure cooker, you're gonna need to boil it out and it's gonna take quite a while. And if you've got a lovely cut of beef, you can completely skip this stage. Right, let me get the lid on, which is always a little bit awkward. Oh, so easy today. About 15 minutes. Okay, let's jump in and take a look. Let's steam out there. That's looking fabulous. That's really helped that meat on its way. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate the liquid and the beef because I wanna use this liquid in the cooking. Okay, so there's our beef. That's like, so you just saw that happen, just kind of got it on its way. One can of tomatoes, one can of red beans. If you're gonna use red beans from a can like me, please do give them a wash in some nice cold water. One onion, then I've got about a cup each of carrots and bell pepper. Little bit of chili, you can decide how much you wanna put in of that. One tablespoon of chopped garlic and then these four spices. We've got a two teaspoons of each here. Chili powder, cumin, oregano, and paprika. Now let me just talk to you about paprika. This is smoked paprika, which is delicious. It's the most wonderful thing ever, I think. Be careful if you're gonna use hot paprika or sweet paprika. If you don't use smoked, use sweet. The hot one is basically chili. You're gonna be putting double the amount of chili in. That's about it. Let's get back to the cooker. New pan, olive oil. Of course, we're gonna add some salt and pepper. Okay, so I've got my pan here. More olive oil in there. We're gonna drop in our onion. Cut nice and small. Our tablespoon of garlic. I'm also now going to get in our carrots. Black pepper. Salt. We are on an above medium heat. I'll see you in about three minutes. Keep it moving. Great stuff. Just a couple of minutes or so to get it together. We're now gonna drop in our beef. And like I say, if you were using a nice filet or some sort of nice tender cut, you could be putting this in raw now. Okay, we're gonna go for four to five minutes. I'll be giving it a stir every now and then.
Okay, here we go. Next up, we're going to drop in our beans. We're going to drop in our fresh chili as required. We're now gonna go of our spices. Let's just take one more look. Two teaspoons of each. Smoked paprika or sweet paprika, chili, oregano, and cumin powder. Divine. Let's just get in that little bit of bell pepper. Let's get that one can of tomatoes in the mix now. Now these were a whole plum tomato. I've just crushed them roughly with my hand. Now we're gonna go in with some of that beautiful stock or the water that we cooked the the beef in with a pressure cooker. Now if you didn't do that part and use your lovely expensive piece of meat, you could just add just under a pint of beef stock or a stock of your choice. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the heat to just above a simmer, not quite a simmer, just above. We're gonna let that go for about 25 minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. Oh, now look at that, beautiful. Off goes the heat. You can see that's kind of reduced down and thickened up. It's just really good. The meat's beautifully tender. Check that for salt and pepper. Now, depending on the cut of meat you've used, you might want to go a little bit longer. You kind of can't overcook this really. Bit of cilantro or coriander, whatever you call that, in the mix and we're done. Let me get that on a plate. Very happy. And of course that is wonderful with some just plain white rice or with some tortilla or some other sort of bread. Really delicious. Hope you enjoy that. I'll see you very soon. You take care. Lots of love. Thank you so much indeed for watching our videos. It means a great deal to us. Please do hit the thumbs up for us if you like it thumbs down if you don't i suppose yeah don't do that just do that um yeah and subscribe to us that would really help us out a lot we just hit 100 million views we're very excited about that we would love if you could support what we're doing we don't do any ads or endorse any products at all uh, even though we're offered it quite a lot a lot of it rubbish to be honest but um yeah we, we, we don't want to be doing that so we've got a little paypal thing if you want to buy us a coffee just a couple of dollars or whatever you want you can just follow the link, which should be about here now. And uh, yeah, pay me some money. I'm broke. Lots of love.